Hey, it's done. Today we're going to talk about connecting up and setting up your business through Shopify and expanding out to multiple platforms. We're going to show that to you visually right now. Now we're going to start with eBay and we need to hook that up with Shopify. So we've got the two. Now there is a channel option which we'll show you later to hook up eBay to Shopify. But again, that does not have all of the features. So we are going to use a bridge to bridge these two, which is called Inkfrog. Inkfrog will hook up eBay to Shopify. And the best part about Inkfrog is you can do pretty much the same thing you can on eBay, and it doesn't alter or remove your listings from eBay. It just syncs them up and keeps track of them and has a secondary copy. You can list from Inkfrog or you can list from eBay, and it's basically the same thing. So it has all the options. You can do manage payments and best offer, as I said. Now, Inkfrog is just the connection, basically, to hook the two up together. Now, from here, I can also still continue to do HIP platform, which hooks up to eBay itself. So now, whatever I have on eBay syncs through HIP platforms with eBay. Now, there's other ones you can use. I'll put a little other box here, such as, say, Bonanza. And there's a few other ones that will auto-sync like this as well. So you can hook those up to eBay. That will not affect anything with Inkfrog or your Shopify those pull straight from eBay and since we're using Inkfrog it does not affect the eBay listings so if we sell something on Shopify it will alter the amount in eBay and if it's below a certain amount it will obviously change those results for hip and Bonanza all at the same time so those all sync now let's step back and look at this a little bigger a little bigger picture here now from Shopify I want to broaden my reach as well. I want to add, let's say, Amazon. There is a Amazon channel with Shopify, and you can add that in by downloading it from their app store. You can also install Etsy. Now, Etsy is a direct one straight through Shopify. There is a app as well. Now, you can do Instagram. That's another one, another channel straight through Shopify. You can also do Facebook, you can do the buy button, and many, many other options to do it. There's many options. You can go to the App Store and add all kinds of different options to list and such forth. So we've got a few others, but you can add quite a few onto here. Now, if I sell an item set up this way, we're all linked together. If I sell, say, a postcard on Etsy, that postcard will sync from Etsy with my Shopify store through Shopify. Now, since I'm using Inkfrog, Inkfrog will also sync whatever Shopify says with eBay. So the item was sold on Etsy. It syncs with Shopify. From Shopify, Inkfrog syncs it with eBay. And from eBay, hip postcards will sync it as well. So if it's sold on one platform, it will go through the entire process and it will sync them all. That is the factor you're looking at with Shopify. Now, many people think you're setting this up with Shopify. Basically, Shopify is just giving you your own store. You can name it what you want. You can bring your own .com or URL to this site as well. So it's perfectly fine to do it in either option you want. This way is the way I am doing it and seems to be the best options because, again, Inkfrog does not alter your original eBay listings. So if you want to quit Shopify, Inkfrog won't affect or hurt any of your original eBay listings. If you want to quit Inkfrog, again, you can quit that as well, and it'll be just like it was before you signed up with Inkfrog. Now, here's another way you can do this as well. This way, though, if you hook up eBay as a channel, it is missing certain features such as best offer, and you can't do it under managed payments as well. Now, the other way, we go straight from Shopify, and we install the eBay app, and that will give us an eBay channel. Now, we also have to pay to download the items from eBay into Shopify. That is a separate fee. The cheapest that I could find was over $100, and it didn't work very well at all and was pretty much a waste. And most of the other ones have about the same feedback rating, that they weren't very good. 
The Amazon channel works fairly well from everything I can see. You can add that on as well. You can also add on Etsy, Instagram, and Facebook, and whatever else you want, just like in the other example. But once you created your listings this way, they do not technically exist on eBay. So if you quit Shopify, all of your listings on eBay will have to be redone, started from scratch, back over. So that is a huge drawback. Doing it this way as well, you cannot do best offer and you cannot do managed payments as of right now through this option. This is eBay's own supplied channel for Shopify. So just FYI, I would not recommend this configuration from what I see. So this is just a rough breakdown on this option. But as I say, I use the other option I personally would not use this way because I want to keep my original eBay listings as well as a mirrored copy of them with Inkfrog to sync them with Shopify. But that's what I have for you today. Well, there you are. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Thundercats will be back after these messages. As the sun rises on Tuthopolis, those cavity freaks blast off to attack again. But this time... Advanced formula crisp. Our all new secret weapon is ready. Just in time. Hold, hold, hold it. Zap them with new Crest Floristat. Fire one. Um, it's tougher on us than before. Yeah. Watch sweets. Be your dentist. And fight the cavity creeps with our all new secret weapon. Advanced Formula Crest. <laughs>